Hey guys, Brian here. So in this video series, I wanted to talk to you guys about some different ways to rig up to rappel and how we can strategize to pick the best technique depending on what our mission is. For example, maybe we're rappelling down a steep, snowy, or icy couloir to rescue a cliffed out skier. Maybe we're wrapping down as a search and rescue member to rescue a, a stranded climber and we've got to do a pickoff. And then uh, maybe we're out just with our, uh, our friends or buddies uh, canyoneering and we've got to do a long series of, of rappels with knot passes. So uh, I don't think one technique out there is best for all those different scenarios. So I thought I'd discuss a couple different strategies with you guys and uh, you can let me know what you think. Okay, so in this first video, I want to concentrate on having a DCD, like an ATC, um, a brake rack, or a scarab that doesn't have a self-locking or self-breaking mechanism. So most of us would be utilizing uh, some sort of uh, auto block or third hand or a friction hitch as a backup safety or belay for ourselves. So uh, as a lot of you guys already know, this auto block can either be above or below the DCD. And in this first video, I'm going to concentrate on using the DC, I'm sorry, the, um, the auto block beneath our DCD. So a lot of folks are going to put their third hand or their auto block beneath the ATC or the DCD, whatever DCD they're using. So an advantage of utilizing this style is that the friction hitch here is only carrying whatever weight is left over after the rope friction going through the device here. So it's not going to be your full body weight here. So when this does hold your load, it's really easy to release and continue on with your rappel. In the next video, we'll talk about a disadvantage of having a friction hitch up above your DCD here is if you're hanging from that 100% of your weight is going to be on that friction hitch. So it just means it might be harder to get undone. Okay. So we've got our ATC loaded up onto uh, our belay loop here and I'm using um, the hollow block uh, an auto block wrap here. You guys uh, might be familiar with people using a triple wrap uh, Prosec or a Climb Heist, uh, all kinds of different ones, whatever uh, works best for you, your weight, the rope that you're using. Okay, so uh, two important safety considerations before we jump into all the different methods here. Uh, one is wherever we clip our auto block, it needs to be a structural portion of our harness. So I can go into my belay loop here like this. I can go into um, this rated portion of my uh, of my harness like that and clip. Uh, I should not go into my gear loop or down here where this plastic buckle is. Obviously that's a uh, pretty uh, common sense there but just wanted to make sure um, I review that. Now the second uh, consideration here is we need to make sure that wherever I clip in my auto block, that if I get hit by a rock and go unconscious, that the auto block won't come up and hit the DCD because then it'll just mind itself. And you can see I can just still pull rope through. So we have to have enough working space between the DCD here and the, and the auto block. So as soon as we get into our first strategies, uh, you'll see by putting an extension on here, we can increase the working space here if needed. All right, so uh, this is about as simple as it gets uh, right here. Nothing wrong with this, uh, this style, but let's just uh, give you guys some more options uh, depending on your uh, scenario. Okay, so in this section of the video, I wanna talk about putting a 
extension between our harness and the DCD here to give ourselves a little bit more working room here. And as you'll see, there's a couple other cool applications for that. So for that to happen, okay, we need some more gear. So uh, I'm not gonna go into uh, all the details, but just know your equipment, right? Know if you're grabbing a static cord or if it's uh, dynamic, if it has some stretch to it, uh, or manufactured devices like this uh, Petzl um, Dual Connect. This is a, a dynamic rope, essentially. So this has a stretch greater than um, 5%. You can see here, get this out of the way, you can see here it has uh, two lanyards attached to it. So one could be utilized to extend your device and then the other one can be used as a safety clip to the anchor. So uh, I'm going to show you guys how to make some of these, how to manufacture one in the field, but just realize a lot of the material that we carry in the field, like uh, nylon runners, and Dyneema slings, they don't have that uh, dynamic character to them. So we really do not want to fall on the Dyneema or the, uh, the nylon. It's going to be like falling on a wire. Really shock load this and we can blow out our anchors or hurt ourselves. All right. So let's get into the two main ways to extend your DCD up and away from your harness. So, the first is going to be the basket hitch style. For the basket hitch style, simply grab an end of your double runner and run it through the lower and upper portion of your harness, and then grab both ends, equalize them, and then what you'll do is you'll just tie an overhand knot or a figure eight in the middle somewhere, and this is gonna give us a couple options. So you can see I got my big master knot there. So now what I can do, depending on my particular mission profile, if I really want to extend the DCD far away from me, give myself a lot of working area down here, maybe this is a snow evacuation, you know, I'm, I'm rappelling down a pretty moderate snow slope, so I'm not going to have any sharp edges or rocks for this to get bounced around on or caught up on, so I'm okay with having it a little bit further away from my harness. I can still reach it, right? Always got to make sure it's within your grasp. Now, so with this right here, I can also move my auto block to my belay loop. Here, if that cleans things up and makes it easier for me with plenty of space. I also have a little bit of redundancy in here since I've got this master knot and um, the, the two different loops here. Okay, now uh, something else that you can do with this system here is if this Lost. were uh, for your DCD, you can clip down just below the, the knot here which we I'd call just clipping into the shelf. So basically we just gave ourselves two different um, options. And of course you can move that knot. And then these, this is pretty short right here, but I could use that tail uh, to clip into my anchor. Okay, if I had an anchor sling, you can see, you know, I can't really reach my main anchor sling up here because this is so short. So I'll give you another option here in a minute. And then you can clip this back in to your belay loop or your harness and lock that off. And then that closes the system is instead of making the basket hitch so it is two symmetrical ends like so, I like to make it so it's asymmetrical. So I'll pull, and give myself a much shorter end and a longer end. And this way, I can have a short extension for my rappel device and a longer tether to attach to my anchor. So once again, I'll tie a master knot down here. This could be an overhand or a figure eight, just like so. Now I've got my, my DCD a little bit closer down here to me. I like that. I still got some good working room here. Now. That's a little close 
for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and clip my auto block down off my structural part of my leg loop. So I've got plenty of space there. All right, that's looking good. And now I've got a long tether, okay, so I can clip that into uh, anchor systems as a, as a backup if I'm, and especially if I'm going through multiple anchor systems. Okay, so that would be the uh, basket hitch with two tethers um, with different sizes, a short and a long. While we're here, let me take this opportunity to show you guys uh, a great way of loading up to repel near a cliff. So, uh, if you tie this up before you approach the anchor near the repel station, what you can do is you can first just clip into the anchor so you've got a safety line. And then what you can do is you can rig up your repel line in your DCD, clip that in, get your auto block on, and you can just test it out, right? You can go, you can go in here and make sure everything feels good and that your safety hitch is going to catch and it's not going to get jammed up. And then after you've done your ABCs, making sure you're good to go, then what you can do is you can untach your safety tether here and then you can clip this back in to your belay loop or your harness and lock that off and then that closes the system and then as you rappel down okay when you get to the next anchor system you can grab your anchor tether here the long portion of your leash go ahead and clip that in and uh, and go from there okay so here's another great rappel extension this time instead of doing a basket hitch what we're going to do is we're going to use a girth hitch around our harness and use that as the extension so i'm going to go ahead through the bottom portion of my harness up through my waist belt and then i'm going to girth hitch this through Make sure my bar tack is down here out of the way. And now what I can do is I can tie an overhand knot or uh, a figure eight knot anywhere in here where I'm going to want to attach my DCD. In addition, so basically I'm just making a shelf. So here is an, a figure eight, just like so. So I can now attach in here like that, and then I've got a really long leash to come up to my anchor point as a safety line. Now, I feel like sometimes when you tie it like that, it's hard to untie afterwards. So uh, I prefer tying an overhand uh, bite here, which is gonna be this, it's really gonna have the same function and purpose. So I'll just make a loop here and go around simple overhand on a bite clip into there okay and then i still have uh, the remaining part of the leash here okay as a backup uh, safety anchor or what else is really nice about this is if i want to do a, a pick off i can clip this into uh, my subject over here and instead of the subject hanging off of my ATC that's right on my harness, he's gonna be hanging off my ATC, which is a foot or two above me. It just gives me a little bit of space and working room between me and the subject. So I'm a big fan of that. Okay guys, so let's just review a couple of reasons why we may decide to have an extension on our DCD while we're repelling. Well, one, it gives us a safety tether here so we can rig up our device and uh, double check it before committing to the edge. Uh, two, it gives us working space and it can separate our DCD from our auto block so the auto block won't get jammed up in there and self mind or tend. 
Uh, it also gives us some good space here for operating our rappel with two hands, right? Because one hand is gonna help slide down the auto block and the other hand is the brake hand controlling the friction as we go down. So some good working area right there. Uh, it also gives us a little bit more space so the ATC is not down here where the end of our t-shirt is uh, or all these other kind of uh, accessories. A little bit less likely that something may get um, jammed up in there. And uh, we also talked about another reason uh, we like having the, the dual lanyard here is for attaching onto a, a subject if we're going to do any sort of rappel style uh, pick off. All right, and I'm sure there's a couple other uh, awesome reasons out there too to do it. What would be a disadvantage of this? Well, if you're going to go over a, a 90 degree lip like, like so, the further away the ATC is from your harness, the more likely it's going to get caught on that sharp edge transition. So that's just something to be mindful of. Make sure you have a high directional to ease the or make the edge transition uh, easier or have one of your teammates vector you over the edge. But just be aware of that. You don't want your ATC to get jammed up on the edge so that you can't get up and over. All right, rescuers, hopefully you got some more options now on how to rig up for a rappel depending on uh, your mission profile. And in the next video, we'll talk about rigging your auto block up above your DCD and the advantages and disadvantages of that. Okay, if you're training, make sure you're using a backup rope or training in a safe environment and uh, you guys stay safe out there.